Hello, welcome to the final episode of this new series of Japan Business Time with Rochelle Karp. And we've reached it. We've reached the pinnacle of the series. We're talking today about passive aggression. We've been alluding it to, to it to all of these episodes. So uh, hang around. Okay, we have an extremely short time to talk about passive aggression. I'm about to encounter passive aggression, actually, if we、yes. <laughs> go over this.、Uh, the, the Japanese tactic of,、uh, of showing disapproval, the, the, the Japanese the, the way of feedback, basically, is not very direct. Yes.、Yeah. Passive aggression. They show subtle signals and expect you to f- read between the lines. Read the air. Read the air, kuki yomu. Or sometimes put in a more direct way, kuki yome, which、yeah. means get a freaking clue. Right, 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 yes.、Uh, and it's kind of funny. People say, why are Japanese so hostile? Why are Japanese so aggressive towards me? And the reason is you're pissing them off. Right, and then you haven't figured out the more subtle clues. So then the clues escalate. Yes,、right? and it gets worse and worse. And it's a kind of hazing. I mean, it, it, it's, it's like being in a really small town. With a bunch of clicks, and they, you know, they're, they're, they're looking at your clothes, kind of funny, but you don't know exactly which part of your clothes is wrong, but something's wrong, and you've got to, you're expected to figure it out yourself, and sometimes there's no way.、Right. And a lot of foreigners, myself included, get very frustrated that, hey, look, they're expecting me to know all of these things, which I have no way of knowing, and they should just tell me, and I'll do it, but why don't they tell me? They just, instead, they're just giving me extra work, or they're being mean to me. But this is all part of the, the hazing and the character building. That you learn through this kind of social stigmatization and kind of, it is a kind of hazing, frankly, but it's very deeply embedded in the culture. This、right. is how you get those clues to learn to anticipate how someone is reacting or thinking without them having to say it. Right, exactly, which is highly skilled in Japanese culture, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, unless actually dealing with foreigners <laughs> as, as a partner, which we talked about in the first episode.、Uh, but this whole thing about being able to anticipate, and, and, and when you talk about work instruction, a task, Uh, the whole idea that you're supposed to not just do what you're told for the task, but anticipate all、right. the you're other things. Right, you're supposed to think、expect. about everything around it. Well, I'm going to tell you a really good story.、Yes. One of my Japanese colleagues, when she was growing up, her father wanted her to be able to read between the lines and sort of ichi ia ba juo shiru.、Yeah. I'm going to tell you one, you're going to figure out the other ten.、Yeah. So one day, she's like five years old, they're sitting in the living room. He says to her, Hai Zara, ashtray. Yeah. She goes and brings him the ashtray. Logical. He's really annoyed at her. <sighs> Can you guess why? <laughs> no, no idea. He did not bring the cigarettes and the lighter. So he wanted her to think beyond what she was being asked.、Yeah. So that's the classic thing that Japanese are expecting people to fill in the blanks. It's very Karate Kid, if you think about it. It's very、yes. Daniel san waxing the floors. And, you well, know, that was a great movie, and that, that was, was spot on. That was, was so passive、on. aggressive. I mean, seriously,、yes. you're watching that whole thing, and you're feeling it. You're feeling like, you know, why are you teaching, treating me like your slave?、Right. I know that movie line by line. Miyagi san is appearing very passive aggressive. I mean, yes, he is, but what, what he's really doing is he's expecting he's Daniel to figure it out. Yes. yes. But, yeah, that, that's, a, that, that's a great movie. I always recommend it to everyone. But the truth is,、uh, unfortunately, most Japanese people are not Miyagi san. They actually do get kind of agitated when you react like Daniel san did and says, you know, why yeah, are you not so equanimous? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you go, well, don't tell me that. You're supposed to understand you're a bad, bad character.、Uh, but this comes down to the efficiency thing that we talked about in the earlier episode. This right, whole、exactly. idea of that it's not about doing it as efficiently as possible, it's not about having a clear, simple instruction with a clear,、right. simple task. It's about understanding how to do the job best and doing it without being told. Right.、Um, so it's all, all of these things kind of come together into passive aggression. It's the、right. way that it's the, it's the feedback mechanism. And it's terribly inefficient as, as a feedback mechanism. And this is the thing, this has happened so many times where I was doing something wrong and I wanted my, and my boss to tell me, that's wrong, go back, do it again. Just tell me what's wrong and how to fix it, and I'll fix it. And, I mean, and save a lot of time for everybody, right? I, spend, I, I used to spend literally, this, is not, this is, would happen in my first job, trying to figure out how to program or customize something on a system. Oh, customization, that's another topic, but how to customize a system. And he'd want me to figure it out, and he'd be passively, aggressively making me go to do it. I'm getting so annoyed because he could just tell me, and by tomorrow I could do this and be on the next task. And instead, I spend a week. A week of time that I consider to be wasted, wasted and being abused the but entire that, time. But that is training for you, don't、it's、you building, understand? It's building, it's building my character.、Yes. Yamato Damashi, but I don't want Yamato Damashi if it's like that. But this is, this is the whole thing. So the passive, passive aggression is a main instruction tool, feedback right, tool. Right, exactly. But it's not just building Yamato Damashi, it's really the idea of you going through the process of figuring out what the problem is. And becoming is an independent problem solver. Is you have to really think. Yeah. Is you have to really think. 
And truth is, and, and it's kind of funny. And as you go up the ranks and you deal with the new Namaiki, you know, the raw recruits who are, are, are the same as what I used to be. And the Japanese are no different to Westerners in these situations. And I found myself being passive aggressive to them and hazing them just the same as I got hazed because if I went through it, they have to go through it. And that's horrible, but that's how the world works. But it is funny. It is it is an important part. I know people see it and they say, why are Japanese so passive aggressive? But it, it is, it's... It's part, I guess you could say it's, it's, it's part, part of the culture. culture. Yeah, it's part of the culture. And the thing is, I always think of it more as just reluctance to be direct. Yeah. Or feeling like you don't need to be direct. Yeah. And so it's not necessarily always aggressive, yeah. but it's just not direct. Okay, I don't want to be passive aggressive with you, but the, they're about to be passive aggressive with us. We're completely out of time. Okay. We have one more topic which we are going to cover in the next series, which uh, when you come back in Japan, it, just in it, time... It, it, for Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Office romance. That's Office the next romance. one. So wait a couple months for that ah, one. Yes. You missed it, but it's coming back. And give us the topics for the next series. Add yeah. comments. Tell yeah, us what comments. you want to yeah, hear. Tell us what you want us to talk about. Exactly. Endless repository of information and advice. So, <laughs> and, and we're going to be starting with romance on the next on the next right, yes. Office romance with the next series. Exactly. Awesome topic and completely different in American I have Japan. some good stories. Oh, oh, so anyway, we're out of time for today, for this series. Okay. Uh, but come back and join us uh, soon for the next series and tell us what you're thinking. Give us your topics for the next one because we love exactly. this stuff. Okay, hope yeah. you enjoyed it. Peace. Thanks so much. Thank you, Rochelle. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Right,